Alright, what's up guys? My name is Zach and today we are starting a new series here on the Shooting Cars channel. Now before I get too much into it, we are going to go pick up the project. No, it's not a car, but if you saw the thumbnail and title, you know what it is. Um, but we are going to go to my friend Caleb's shop, go pick it up, and then once it's back here, uh, I'll kind of tell you guys the whole point of this project and this video series and all that stuff. Um, so, without further ado, let's get right into it. Let's head over to the shop. How's it going? Hey. This is from the guys at Atkins. Ooh, uh, ooh another shirt I can get dirty while wearing, while working. Thank you. Thank you. you know, my arms are actually kind of tan. They're getting there. Just there we go. Atkins Rotary Gang, yeah. right there. It's blue, too. It's my favorite color. Now we're matching, too. Heck yeah. Here it is. This is the new project for the channel. Now, I know what some of you guys might be thinking, Zach, it's not a rotary. I thought this was kind of a rotary channel. And yes, you're not wrong. This is a rotary channel. I love rotaries. And you see, that's kind of the issue. I love rotaries so much that I will probably continue to build rotaries for the rest of my life. That's really the plan. Uh, as long as I am able to build rotary and RX-7 vehicles, the plan is to do so. But I thought about it, and I want to be a well-rounded car enthusiast. I don't want to be someone that only understands rotaries, and that's it. And that's where the conversation stops. So, my good friend Caleb, or Jim, as you guys know, tore the 2.2 liter out of his Mazda B2200. That's what this is. And so, he offered to give it to me to rebuild. So I can actually learn, and we can learn together, how a piston engine really works, how to rebuild piston engines and then at the end of the series I'm not sure what we're gonna do with it if we're just gonna try to start it or if we're gonna put it into something um, there's a slight chance that we have a shell for it already picked out but we kind of have to see how that goes but the whole point of this series is going to be learning how to rebuild a piston engine so like I said this is a 2.2 liter four-cylinder engine it's a single overhead cam and that's really all I know about it so, the next video will probably be cleaning it up, getting it on the engine stand, um, as well as addressing you guys again because I need ideas for names for this series. For the RX-7 out there, we have Rotary Life, but we don't have a series name for the B2200 rebuild, I guess. Um, so leave your suggestions down in the comments below. I was thinking hashtag not a rotary. Um, but let me know what you guys think. So whatever you guys pick, then I'll rename the title of this video. Um, to that. So, hope you guys enjoy this quick little video. I hope you guys are excited about the piston engine rebuild. As with Rotary Life, you guys will see this engine go through every step of the process. And the only reason it's not on the engine stand now is I tried to get the pressure plate off yesterday and I sliced my finger open. So I can't really grab stuff that well without tearing another hole in my finger. Uh, so I'm going to let this heal up for a little bit and then uh, and then we'll get back to it. So, again, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to rate the video, comment on the video, subscribe if you really liked it, and let me know what we should name this project. Take care, guys.